What is up you guys? Welcome back to Brittany Automotive. Today we are going to be putting in my flow supply CO2 bottle and bracket to power my air shifter. Wow, I didn't talk. Yeah, it's to power my air shifter. I don't have time for bloopers. I uh, decided to procrastinate and I only have like two hours to finish this so let's go get it done. I have a super easy method to do this called nut inserts. So nut certs. Nut inserts nut certs okay um so we're gonna do that and i need to move the car around i just noticed that so like i said no time for bloopers y'all are gonna see the most raw unedited britney in your life so let's go do it here let's go put this thing in okay so my nut sets are already in um, as you guys can see lots of the stock interior that's what flows with dragon drives most of the time in the classes that I run for street classes so we have most of the stock interior so I'm gonna mount this just behind the uh, console because I think that's where it's gonna look the coolest and it's really easily accessible for me if I forgot to turn it on or whatever right before I pass just turn it on super duper easy so, I got two nut certs in there. You just need two bolts for your bracket right here to put this bottle in there. These are pretty. Anyways, let's go actually put this thing in there. Mounted. That was the easiest thing I've ever done in my life. Nut search, guys. Seriously, get them. Um, and then I need to put my pressure regulator right here. It's already hooked up to my line. All right. Well, this was a dumb idea. And literally it was that easy. You pretty much have your bottle set up. The only thing I don't have is one of those screw on things. Um, that was my bad. I had to change the bottle at race week because we didn't have enough CO2 and it didn't fit my other bottle that I had to buy. And so I took it off and we zip tied it. And I know I threw it in the car. I just don't know where it ended up. So I'll be on the lookout for that. But that is literally how you mount that bad boy. Super duper easy. Let's go look at the shifter because it's pretty cool too. Welcome to my humble abode. So this is what the interior looks like. I'm sure you guys have seen it before, but here is my motion shifter and here's the CO2 valve here. And up under here, as you can see, this is the only piece of the stock dash that I had to remove for this to work. All of my wiring is hidden up under here. That little guy flew out of there. Um, I probably need to Velcro it somewhere just so that it'll stay like there something I don't know somewhere that it's hidden but 
that's my Mac valve um, at Holly. They call it a three port boost control solenoid. And it, oh, I got the part number on there 557 200. So you can get yourself one of those. Then it's simply just a quick connect here. And it literally flows right to my bottle right back there. How simple is that? Super simple setup. And that's what I like. So just ignore that guy, okay? Just ignore him. But yeah, welcome to the interior of the race car. All right, if you guys are curious as to what an air shifter is or what it does, I'm here's a video of me racing. It's the only one that I have, if you can see the shifter. But I'm not touching the shifter. It all shifts on its own, which is super duper nice to have when you're trying to hit specific marks. You could do it all through the tune. The shifter knows when to shift itself, and it does it through air. Thank you to both Holly and Flow Supply for sponsoring the parts in this video. I will be leaving a link to the parts in the description below if you guys would like to get them for yourself. If you've already gotten the bracket and the bottle and you're just like, wow, I don't know where to mount this, I don't know how to do this, or you're just overwhelmed, remember, it's really not that hard. Nut certs. Literally get you a nut cert kit off of Amazon. Super duper easy. That's actually how I mount my nitrous bottles back here as well. And maybe that'll be next week's video because I need to do a video on that. So thank you guys so much for watching. And I'm going to go hang out with my pregnant best friend in Kansas. So have a great weekend and thank you guys so much for watching.